we're looking at dragon eggs here and they're either green or yellow. So this is perfect for binomial because there's two outcomes. One is going to be success and one is failure. Now in this question, the biologists observe over the years, 32% of the eggs are yellow and the rest are green. And we want to define success is the number of yellow eggs. So let's go ahead and use Excel here and I'm going to call a uh, success. Let's just label yellow is success. Uh, green is a failure. All right. Successes. Uh, they do tell us 32% of the eggs are yellow. So that's our P value. Now 32% is 0.32. We could compute Q, which is one minus P one minus that number. All right. What is this question asking? Well, we have samples of 49 dragon eggs. So that's our N is 49. Now what's the mean or mu number of yellow eggs in the samples of 49 eggs. Now I'll show you how to compute this, but just looking at this, there's a percentage and a number and that's the only information given. Uh, so it would probably be reasonable to multiply those two together, but let's look at the formula here. So we're in for a uh, formula page in 4.3 and we have mean is N times P. And again, N is how many trials and P is probability of success. So mean is N times P. So let's go ahead and compute that. I can even just copy and paste this right over. So we got U equals, here is our N times P right there. That's our mean. And we'll type that here. They may want us to round one decimal. So we'll go up to seven, 15.7. All right, standard deviation. So it's another computation. We need to look at this formula page here. Standard deviation. I'll just copy all this right here. Um, so we got to use the square root function. So we're using S. So in Excel, SQRT is square root. Now it's N times P times Q, N times P times Q. And I'll move this over a little bit. There we go. So again, you got to multiply N, P and Q together and square root it. And this is one decimal place again. So that'll be 3.3. Okay. So just use the formula page here and just be careful. You're getting the mean and standard deviation.